Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about lens flares and then some random stuff at the end of the video. Let's get started. To add a lens flare, you're going to need a good software. I use HitFilm Express. It's absolutely free and absolutely perfect for the job we're going to be doing. So you may want to go and download that. Download the link in the description below. Once you open it up, you can make a grey layer, then drop on the light flares effect, which you can search for in the effects tab. Once you've dropped it on, you can adjust the settings, the type of flare you want. Really anything you could probably think of for a lens flare effect and the customizability of it. Then, when you've adjusted it to your likings, you can motion track it if your shot is moving at all. If not, don't worry about that. And if any foreground objects are passing, drop the intensity of the flare all the way down to zero, then pull it right back up to 100 or whatever you like when the foreground object has passed and that makes it very realistic. A lens flare would realistically be coming from a light source as a lamp, the sun, another lamp, a light, or you could just use it to look cool when something's important, it's a rap music video, or any other thing you can think of really. That concludes the lens flare segment of this video, now onto the boring part. Instagram thought it would be funny to delete my account. I don't know why they did it, but I'm not happy about it. So I made a new account. Jcam14, please go follow me. I post photos and behind the scenes stuff. I haven't posted any behind the scenes stuff yet, but I might soon. So please go follow me there. Okay, bye. Have a nice day.